Hey, what's up everyone? This video is on fire sprinkler systems in electrical rooms. We're gonna talk about how the pipe can enter the room and we're gonna talk about how we can omit the heads. Let's get started. NFPA 13 has always allowed fire sprinklers in electrical rooms. It's a room, you can occupy it, it could potentially have storage in it, it requires fire protection. Although fire sprinkler systems have been successfully installed in rooms containing electrical equipment for over a hundred years, with no documented instances of a problem, NFPA still realizes there's risk. The safety of the firefighters in or near the electrical rooms where sprinklers could be discharging on live equipment. And if you ever seen a sprinkler head go off, you know the water could cause additional damage to the electrical equipment. Because of these risks, NFPA 13 allows you to omit sprinklers when the room is dedicated to electrical equipment only. Only dry type or liquid type with K-class fluid electrical equipment is used. Equipment is installed in a two-hour enclosure, including protection from penetrations. And storage is not permitted in the room at all. Now, obviously, this would be on your designer and the authority having jurisdiction to make this decision. Everything we just went over, you can find in NFPA 13 in these locations. Next, let's talk about how the fire sprinkler piping can go in the electrical equipment room. Sprinklers and sprinkler piping is permitted in and permitted to pass through an electrical room as long as it's not within the dedicated electrical space as defined in NFPA 70, the National Electrical Code. We're gonna dive into NFPA 70 and find out exactly what the dedicated electrical space is. Let's do it. All right, let's take a good look at this image. You can see there's a space above the electrical equipment and there's a space in front of it. NFPA 70 calls these spaces about electrical equipment. Spaces about electrical equipment are split into two categories, your working space and your dedicated electrical space. The working space generally applies to the safe working environment of the electrician. The working space can extend three to five feet out from the face of the equipment depending on the voltage and have a height of six foot six or the height of the equipment, whichever is greater. Our sprinkler piping is not allowed in the working space. And it's obviously known that if a head goes off, yes, the working space in the equipment will get wet and that's okay. Okay, now for the dedicated electrical space. This is what is most likely going to be in conflict with our sprinkler piping. Okay, so take a good look at the picture. It is defined as a space equal to the width and the depth of the equipment and having a height from the floor to six feet above the equipment or to a structural ceiling, whichever is lower. No piping, ducts, leak protection, or other equipment foreign to the electrical installation shall be allowed in this zone. The only exception is a suspended ceiling with removable tiles. This is permitted to be in the six foot dedicated space zone. Okay, so we know we cannot run through the dedicated electrical space, but we are allowed to run over it. If we have no other option but to run over the space to get into the room, then you are allowed to. But make sure you have leak protection, like a drip pan. You must have leak protection to run 
over the dedicated electrical space in your good. Okay, let's take a look at a couple more examples to end the video. Here's the working space, the area meant for the electrician to safely work. We aren't allowed to be in the working space, but we are allowed to pass over it, as you can see in this image. And the dedicated electrical space, we are not allowed to run through it. We are allowed to run over it if we have leak protection. You can see in this image, it extends from the floor to six feet above the equipment or to the structural ceiling, whichever is lower. All right, everyone, that covers fire sprinklers in electrical rooms. I hope you learned something new and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.